I needed to get a digital storage oscilloscope and I'd used Tektronix models in the past but they're pretty expensive and I wondered what the low-cost models that are available today could do so I did sort of a survey that I'll show you in a moment but I ended up with this one a Handtac DSO 5062B I looked at several different types the Atten, the Handtac, the Owan, and the Rigel and settled on the Handtac as the lowest price and based on various reviews. The thing I was concerned about was being able to use it with a computer and I did have some problems there but I'll show you how I solved those. I got the hand tech from Circuit Specialists and they have some blogs that are useful in figuring out how to use it with a computer but as you can see from the basic operation is basically like any oscilloscope and it seems to work so far as I've been able to test it so far. The only thing I had trouble with was getting it to work with Windows 7 perhaps because it's 64-bit the driver wouldn't work and the computer wouldn't recognize the um, oscilloscope when I plugged it in but as you can see here on this web page the 64 um, driver is the um, 64-pit driver apparently because when I installed it it worked. You have to go to usual, the usual thing of using device manager and uh, manually pointing it to the directory where you've downloaded the driver. They've made it difficult by putting it in a uh, .rar extension file which you have to download a um, program to open it up and then put it in a directory to install it. The computer interface does work. It's not the most obvious thing in the world, but when you open it up, you get this um, this view, which you get then go up to the upper left and open this. Then you open data, and then you have to go up to file and click new. Go down to if you want to see the waveform click OK then you have to click on the waveform eyeball on the left and then click run and then click run again and finally you see the waveform which basically varies as you change the controls on the uh, on the oscilloscope just like it does on the oscilloscope on the computer you can also control it from the computer the next thing that I was interested in was a actually being able to get the tabular data into Excel spreadsheets so you can do that you open the that type of new file and as you can see here the data is actually displayed in tabular format which can then be imported into a CSC file into Excel. So as you can see here the data on the oscilloscope has now been transferred over to an Excel file in from CSV to a native Excel format and then plotted. So the oscilloscope really works. You really can get it to transfer the data to uh, tabular CSC format and import into Excel and other data analysis packages.